Good morning and welcome back in his Blue Jays Blue. It is Mike Apple hanging out. Good Where's morning to you. Where's my hat? Do you, you have a Jays hat? Of course I do. It's got to be down there of somewhere behind I that do. tractor. I it's need probably somebody, somewhere. I need somebody to remind me of these things early in the morning. My brain isn't completely functioning yet, Melon. <laughs> no, none of us are. I'm we getting need more older. Coffee. My memory isn't great. I'm telling it, you. No, it's I got, all good. I got multiple jerseys and hats upstairs. What am I doing? Come on. You know what? You've got till later. Game time's not till That's after right. four. Got, You're fine. No, we've got multiple. We've got multiple series coming up here. <laughs> That's right. That's not just right, the first Mike. round, but all the way. Let's Optimist, go. Optimist, Mike. Optimist, Mike. Okay, are you optimistic <laughs> about job numbers coming out later today? Actually, um, let me let me think about that for a second because no, okay. we want get this. So, <laughs> this is one of those jobs reports where we'd actually like to see from an investment standpoint, the labor market to start to cool down a little bit because what's been going on? Well, uh, jobs have been plentiful. There is in some cases a labor shortage for certain sectors. What has that led to? Uh, demand, higher wages, which fuels to some extent inflation. And what have central banks been doing? Raising interest rates to try to cool the economy off. They're not saying it outright that they want to cause a recession but they kind of want to cause a recession to bring inflation down so if we see the labor market numbers from september this morning start to ease back a little bit that'll actually be counterintuitively good for stocks and the markets which have just been a mess because of higher interest rates and the warning worries about earnings we kind of want to see the, the balance or the the pendulum start to swing back just a little bit here so this is going to be fascinating to see what the numbers actually show, Melanie. We're uh, expecting an, actually more jobs added for last month, but uh, wouldn't be surprised if things do start to ease back just a little bit. You know, it, it's also, you know, talk about my my my, my memory issues. <laughs> Earlier this week, we saw a two-day huge rally for the markets, and that's almost a distant memory now after, again, another uh, drop off for stocks yesterday. Just really, this, yeah. is, this is the scenario that we're they're dealing with right now. Okay, Mike, let's talk about this south of the border. Um, mm -hmm. Potentially changing or looking at changing cannabis laws, and this is via U.S. President Joe Biden. Yeah, uh, that's something that uh, he was calling for yesterday, announcing a pardon for uh, criminal misdemeanor charges. Uh, those charged uh, previously with marijuana, simple marijuana possession. And uh, now talking about uh, full-scale legalization of cannabis, I I don't necessarily know that this will get done or anything anytime soon because you've got the U.S. midterms coming up, and of course that could tip the balance in the Senate. Who knows? But nevertheless, uh, what we saw yesterday on the Canadian financial markets in the cannabis sector specifically was quite the rally. Uh, canopy growth, for example, was up 17 percent. It's up another 8 percent this morning. So there's this bet that something's going to happen in the states. And that'll open the market more so than it is right now. So we'll see if these uh, pot producers, which have done nothing but lose money since the legalization of cannabis in our country, if they start to make money, if, in fact, the U.S. follows through with this going forward. Yes. OK. Uh, Samsung reporting yeah. not so great numbers. No. First operating uh, profit decline since 2019, which is kind of interesting. Everybody was loading up on tech gadgets during the uh, pandemic and such, but now starting to slow down a little bit. And I'm wondering if this is a, uh, you know, showing that consumer spending is starting to scale back a little bit. Samsung, you know, they don't just make smartphones. They make every appliance you can think of for your, for your uh, uh, kitchen or house or what have you. Uh, a massive, massive company might be a signal for uh, Apple, you know, big competitor, this has been a worry and, uh, again, slowing economic uh, growth through consumer spending trends. Hey, Mike, we've run out of time, but I know you want to show something because of Thanksgiving yeah, coming think, up this weekend. Yes. I was thinking it's Thanksgiving, uh, one of my favorite uh, holiday weekends, and turkey and stuffing uh -huh. and potatoes and everything else. It's gotten more expensive, by the way, yes. this year. But uh, your thoughts on ambrosia salad? What is ambrosia salad? Are you not? Come on. What is this? I don't know. Am I alone here? Multi, multi-colored marshmallows, so know. pineapple. Oh no! Coconut. This sounds horrible to me. Cherries. No, thank you. It's delicious. It's delicious. Are you kidding? It's also a wonderful '80s yacht rock band, Ambrosia. <laughs> what is this a trend? Honestly, I don't know no, what this is. No, it's just something I was thinking. Oh, we get Ambrosia salad. It's awesome. Okay. Um, Sid's not interested. Wow. I wow. will try it if you say it's don't, good. Don't, 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 but... don't, don't come at me with, with cranberries. And stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not a cranberry fan either. That's okay. I don't know which one's better. <laughs> All right, Mike, have yourself a great Thanksgiving. We'll talk to you again Tuesday.
Go Jays. Go Jays.